the next important topic in enzymes is isozymes now as the name suggests iso means similar zymes enzymes actually it's a fusion of two different words iso enzymes and that's why the word is isozymes these are different forms of the same enzyme means the enzyme is same substrate is same product form will be same type of reaction mechanism of reaction will be exactly same positive modulator or negative modulator which will positively or negatively modulate the enzyme will be same then where is the difference the difference is in location means it might be present these different forms of enzymes might be present in different organs so any particular enzyme and it's one form e1 might be present in brain but its other form e2 might be present in liver its third form e3 might be present in kidney means enzyme is same catalyzing the same reaction but its different forms are there and they might be present in different organs or different cell compartments so amongst the same cell but at different compartments so one form of enzyme might be present in the mitochondria and the different form of the same enzyme is its isozyme must be might be present in cytoplasm any third isozyme might be present in ea so at all the three places they are catalyzing the same reaction but the composition is different and different composition means different amino acid composition so because enzymes are proteins mostly the enzymes are proteins and if they are proteins then they are also made up of amino acids and their amino acid composition is different if amino acid composition is different definitely they must be having different genes also now one very important thing molecular weight might be same or different means in some of the cases the molecular weights are quite same but in some of the isozymes the molecular weight might vary the very first isozyme which was discovered was lactate dehydrogenase which is also called ldh 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 and this lactate dehydrogenase is going to catalyze this reaction lactate plus nad plus and two hydrogens from lactate are transferred to nad plus to form nadh plus h plus while as two hydrogens are removed lactate get converted into pyruvate and this reaction is catalyzed by ldh that is lactate dehydrogenase now this enzyme is present in different organs of our body and it shows five isozymes which will have same molecular weight that is 134000 dalton means all the five isozymes are having same molecular weight in any other uh, isozyme case it might vary but in case of ldh all the five isozymes are having 134000 dalton molecular weight all are tetramers means they are made up of four polypeptides and all the four polypeptide might be same or they might vary depending on that there are two types of two different types of polypeptide chains are observed amongst all ldh look at this ldh1 that is lactate dehydrogenase 1 is 4h because it has h type of polypeptide it was named or designated by h because it was first time discovered in heart heart muscles that is cardiac muscles and all the four polypeptides are h type so all the four polypeptides of h type and that's why it has h h h h type of combination so all four h type of polypeptides are there and it is present in heart as it is first discovered in heart rbc is entering in that ldh1 is also ldh2 the composition is 3h and 1m means there are three h type of polypeptide h h h but one is m uh, m type of polypeptide and these four polypeptides will come close they will 
for a polymer or tetramer or with each other but this 3H1F or 4H are having same active site so that lactate and NAD plus will be going to pyruvate and NADH so reaction will be same location reticular endothelial system LDH3 that is lactate dehydrogenase 3 2H 2M so 2H type of 2M type of but again when this tetramer is formed it will again form same active site lungs LDH4 1H 3M but still active site same kidney placenta and pancreas LDH5 4M liver skeletal muscles now and this is M it is designated by M because it was first time discovered in muscles skeletal muscles and that's what M and this was first time discovered in heart so these five isozymes of LDH that is lactate dehydrogenase are observed in our body generally LDH1 is the fastest to catalyze the reaction LDH5 is the slowest but keep in mind in heart also some amount of M4 or 4M might be observed in reticular endothelial system you might find 1H 3M or 4M or 4H to some extent but majority of the LDH which is present in heart is 4H and majority of the LDH which is present in skeletal muscles or liver is 4M but it might contain these to some extent and this is the slowest generally but don't forget the condition of the body or cell or any compartment of the cell might keep on varying and with the changing condition it is well possible that the speed of this LDH might vary to some extent because after all they are enzymes if you will keep on changing the condition in their surrounding somewhat their activity might uh, slow down or might become fast because of this these different LDH are isolated in different diseases because with changing conditions their concentration in these organs may change so if in particular especially in case of heart diseases it is observed that LDH1 quantity decreases concentration decreases in heart if this is so it is an indication of heart diseases and such many diseases can be identified because of the changing concentrations of these LDH so this is what is about the five isolates of LDH now one important thing they differ in affinity for substrate and rate of reaction that's why LDH1 is having higher affinity for lactate and NAD plus and that's a convert faster but LDH5 is comparatively slower Differ in sensitivity for positive and negative modulator also. This means their sensitivity for positive and negative modulator will also change. Some might be more sensitive for any particular uh, modulator and it might be less sensitive for other. And it is well possible that their regulation will also vary with respect to the changing condition and with respect to their affinity or their ability to bind positive or negative modulator this is all about isozymes thank you